Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll talk about the isomorphic lattice. So let's see what is the definition of isomorphic lattice. Select L1 and L2 be two lattices with the relation less than or equal to. If there is a bijection from L1 to L2 lattice, F is a mapping from L1 to L2 such that these two properties are f of a meet b is equal to f of a meet f of b and f of a join b is equal to f of a join f of b for every element a and b belonging to l1 then we say that l1 and l2 are isomorphic lattices so in nutshell we can say that two lattices can be isomorphic when their structures are same or they are mirror images of each other right so bijection means a one one and one, one and one to mapping, right? So for every element in the first lattice, these two properties, if it gets satisfied, then we say that the two lattices are isomorphic to each other, right? So let us try to understand this definition with the help of an example. So the first example is that we need to check whether the lattice D6 and Ps are under the subset relation where S is A comma B are isomorphic or not. So now, first of all, let us see what is D6. D6 is the set containing the set of divisors of 6. So it is 1, 2, 3, and 6. And PS means it's the power set of the set containing the two elements A and B. So in the power set, we will get the empty set, singleton set A, singleton set B, and then we have A comma B. Right? So now First of all, before we start, let's make the structure, the case diagram for D6 and PS. So the first element at the bottom will be 1. Then 1 will be related to 2, 1 will be related to 3. And then we can have 6 over here, right? And similarly, when we draw the structure for PS, we will have phi here at the bottom. Phi is related to A singleton set A. Then we will have phi related to B also, singleton set B. And then we will have A comma B here. Right? Okay. So now the first step is that we have to define a mapping F from first set to the second set. So what is that mapping? So we define the mapping like this. We define a mapping F from D6 to PS in such a way that the elements are mapped. How the elements are mapped? Now we have to see the structures and then we have to map, right? So if I apply F on the element 1 on D6, where should 1 go? Right? According to 1, 1 is the bottom element, right? The least element in this. So the least element here is 5. So F of 1 will go to 5. So you can put an equality symbol here instead of an arrow and it is going to 5, right? Similarly, where will f of 2 go? According to the structure, f of 2 should go to the element A. Similarly, f of 3 should go to the element singleton B. And finally, f of 6 will go to A comma B. Right? So, according to the definition, we have to show that for all elements of D6, that means for all A and B belonging to D6, we have to prove this property f of a meet b is equal to f of a meet f of b. And similarly, we need to prove that f of a join b is equal to f of a join f of b. This we need to prove. So we start with the first case and the first case is when we take the pair 1 and 2 belonging to D6. We have to show with all the steps, right? All the pairs. So let's check the first property. We have f of 1 meet 2 is equal to. Now what is 1 meet 2? So do watch my videos if you haven't seen the videos on greatest lower bound and least upper bound. So 1 meet 2 is nothing but 1 and according to the bijection f of 1 is going to 5, right? Similarly, we check out the right hand side f of 1 meet f of 2. So, what is f of 1 according to the bijection? It is phi meet f of 2 is a. So, phi meet a according to the second Hayes diagram, it is the element phi. 
So can we see that both the left and the right hand side are equal? Similarly, we check out the second property that is f of 1 join 2 is equal to. Now what is 1 join 2? It is f of 2 and f of 2 will be singleton element A. Similarly, let us calculate f of 1 join f of 2, the right hand side. So f of 1 is 5 join with singleton set A. So that will become again A. So you can see that both the properties are getting satisfied, right? So now we move on to the second case, case number 2. Okay, so I'll write second case over here. So case number 2. So let's take the pair 1 and 3 belonging to D6. Now again we check the same properties. So f of 1 meet 3 is equal to 1 meet 3 is f of 1 and it is equal to 5. Similarly we check the right hand side f of 1 meet f of 3. So f of 1 is 5, f of 3 is singleton set B. So 5 meet B will be 5. Similarly, we check the second property, f of 1 join 3. So, this is 1 join 3 is 3 and f of 3 is singleton set B. Similarly, we have f of 1 join f of 3, the right hand side of the second expression. So, f of 1 is 5, join 3 is singleton set B and that will come out to be singleton set B. So, you can see that the second case is also valid, right? Now we move on to the third case, case number 3. So in case number 3, we take the next pair, that is 1 and 6 belonging to T6. And we check the same. So we have F of 1 meet 6. 1 meet 6 would be F of 1 only and then F of 1 is 5. Similarly, F of 1 meet F of 6. F of 1 is 5. Meet F of 6 is single, uh, complete set A comma B. So that will give rise to 5. Similarly, we check the second property. So it is f of 1 join 6. 1 join 6 is 6. And f of 6 is a comma b. Likewise, f of 1 join f of 6. That is, how much is f of 1? It is 5. Join f of 6 is a comma b. So that will become a comma b. Right? Now, so we are done with three cases. So let's move on to the fourth case, case number four. So in case number four, what do we have? We have exhausted all the cases with one now. So let us now take up the case two and three, right? So if two and three belongs to D6, so two and three belongs to D6. So let's check the first property. F of two meet three. 2 meet 3 is f of 1 and f of 1 is equal to 5. Likewise, f of 2 meet f of 3. So, f of 2 is A, singleton set A, meet with singleton set B and that will also become 5. Right? And we do the second part, f of 2 join 3. So, f of 2 join 3 would be f of 6 and f of 6 would be A comma B. Similarly, the right hand side of the same expression, f of 2 is A, join with B and that will come out to be A comma B. Right? So, we are done with 2, 3. So, now we are left with the next two more cases, 2, 6 and 3, 6. Right? So, due to space issue, I am just rubbing this portion and I am going to do it over here only. Right? So we will take the next pair of elements as 2 and 6, right? So let's see what happens with 2 and 6. Okay. So this is case number 5 and now 2 comma 6 belongs to D6. So what is f of 2 meet 6? 2 meet 6 would be 2 and f of 2 is singleton set A. Similarly, f of 2 meet f of 6 would be f of 2 is singleton set A and 6 is single, uh, complete set A comma B. So, that will give rise to singleton set A. 
Similarly, 2 times 6 would be 6 and it will give rise to a comma b. Right? Similarly, f of 2 comma f of 6. So that is f of 2 is singleton set a. 6 is a comma b. So that will give rise to a comma b. Right? So case number 5 is also done. And now we move on to the last case. That is the elements 3 and 6. So let's see what happens with 3 and 6. So those of you who can do it themselves, they may try it on their own and they may check the answer. So when we try with this, num with this case, case number 6, 3 and 6 now belongs to D6. So f of 3 meets 6 would be 3 meets 6 is now 6, sorry 3 and f of 3 is singleton set B. Similarly, f of 3 and f of 6, f of 3 is B, singleton set, this is complete set A comma B, and this will give rise to B. Similarly, 3 joint 6 is 6, this would be A comma B, and then we have f of 3 join f of 6, so that is singleton set B join with A comma B, so that will give rise to A comma B. And we think that there are no more cases, no more pairs left. So we see that in all the cases, both the parts are satisfied. And hence, we can conclude that D6 and PS are isomorphic to each other. Right? I hope the example is clear to everyone. So in light of this example, you may try the next problem. So the next problem says that you have to check whether these two lattice as shown in this figure are isomorphic or not. So in this case, I'll just like to give you a hint. So if you check the structures, how you are going to define the mapping, we define a mapping from 1 to 2 in such a way that f of a goes to 1, f of b goes to 2, f of c goes to 3, and f of d goes to 4, right? So you can define the mapping this way and you can check all the properties. And also, do try the next problem. You have to determine the lattice D60, D30 and PS under the subset relation where S is A, B, C are isomorphic or not, right? So do let me know in the comment section whether you were able to solve the problems or not, right? So thank you so much and if you like the video do hit the like button and do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Have a nice day and thank you so much. Believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed.